Greetings friends and my valued viewers welcome back to our YouTube channel preferably you are fine like before enormous news for dinar just dropped I by and large endeavor my best to give you the revived information so this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi dinar hit become involved with stay informed and comment the idea of deleting zeros in the context of currency reform can often lead to confusion and misconceptions about its actual economic impact. Let's delve into what this concept entails and how it affects the value and perception of a currency. Currency redenomination, often colloquially referred to as deleting zeros, is a process where a country adjusts its currency by redefining its nominal value relative to a base unit, like the US dollar or euro. This process typically involves issuing new banknotes and coins in smaller denominations but with the same overall value as the larger denominations they replace. For example, a 1000 unit note might be replaced by a 1 unit note after redenomination, while maintaining the same total value. The statement you don't create value by deleting zeros reflects a common misunderstanding. Redenomination itself does not create economic value directly. It is a cosmetic and logistical change aimed at simplifying transactions and accounting, especially in economies with hyperinflation or excessive currency volatility. By removing zeros, it makes prices and calculations more manageable for consumers and businesses. However, the core value of a currency is determined by broader economic factors such as inflation rates, interest rates, trade balances, and overall economic stability. Redenomination addresses the psychological aspect of currency perception but does not alter the fundamental economic factors driving its value. The example given, where a currency's exchange rate is very low, like 1310 units to 1 US dollar, illustrates a situation of severe depreciation or hyperinflation. In such cases, Redenomination alone cannot restore confidence or value. It needs to be accompanied by sound economic policies, such as fiscal discipline, monetary reform, and measures to control inflation. The concern about implementing small category notes refers to the practical challenges of introducing new denominations that may seem insignificant compared to older, higher denominations. This transition requires effective communication and education to ensure smooth adoption and understanding among the public. Regarding the comparison to fractions of a dollar, like 0 .0007, it's important to note that these fractional values are common in international exchange rates, especially for less valuable currencies. Red denomination adjusts the nominal value of a currency but does not change its relative worth against other currencies. Thus, a redenominated currency with a lower nominal value per unit does not necessarily mean it has less value in real economic terms. In summary, while redenomination or deleting zeros can be a useful tool in managing currency stability and public perception, it is not a standalone solution for economic woes. Sustainable economic value comes from comprehensive economic policies and stability, rather than from cosmetic changes in currency denominations alone. Understanding these nuances is crucial for accurately assessing the implications of currency reforms in global economics. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or need further clarification on any of these points, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like comment, and subscribe for more updates on the Iraqi dinar and other financial news. Until next time, take care and stay informed.